Just last week, Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler announced their engagement. It was a long-awaited event. Fans wanted to warn Matt that Karen was just after his money. Matt laughed it off, which made one wonder about Karen's net worth. After so many years together, the couple got engaged. Just a few days ago, they announced this joyous news. It makes sense as they had made tremendous progress in building their dream home. Amy went ahead and married Chris Merrick and found her happiness. Although Matt and Karen have been together much longer and are not yet married, he is following a similar path. Matt wants to move out of the house that has been his residence on the Rolla farm for years. But still, he is not moving. He and Karen have been planning their new home, a mansion that fits their needs. Matt loves his construction projects, and yet he's made it clear to everyone that the Rolla Farms is his property. Against all odds, the big building goals aren't all Matt's doing. Karen helped him plan the house, and he pointed out that she was the one who found the construction crew that was doing the actual construction. I assume this couple is not one-sided financially. Karen Chandler's approximate cost is about $4.5 million. I am still determining where Karen earned that amount. Perhaps reality TV is one source of income. I first saw Karen when she was working as a manager at Rolla Farms. She and Matt started dating a few months after his official divorce from Amy in 2016. Although based on some information sources, including Amy's book, Matt and Karen's relationship began much earlier. Sometimes things just happen on their own, but it can get bizarre when an employee is dating her boss, even if he's not married anymore. Matt has responded in the past to warnings from fans who advised him to get a prenup, responding that Karen's finances might surprise them. He was protective of his fiancée but didn't divulge any details. Well, this couple is doing just fine, not just because they have money, but because they have each other. So let's just wish them happiness. After all, the details are not our business, it's their personal life. I'm personally happy when everyone around are happy. Ya dig? Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content.